It's been nasty and ugly outside all day long, so what better way than to just turn up the heat and stay home? Well, if you did that, you missed Gary Broadhead's Cajuns playing in an absolute battle as UL currently is tied for fourth in the conference standings. Cajuns on the heels of their 10 point win over ODU on Thursday, taking on Arkansas State, and they came out firing on all cylinders. Tamara Johnson draws first blood with a free throw line jumper. UL started on a 6 0 run, but the Red Wolves quickly cut into the lead. Izzy Higginbottom gets it going from beyond the arc, drills one, making it a one point game. UL then put together another run, closing out the quarter, leading 12 to 11. Alicia Blanton laying it up and in. It's a one point game. That carried over into the second quarter. Cajuns going on an 8 0 run. Nubia Benedict gets to the cup with ease, game high 13 points. It's 20 to 11 UL. But once again, A State gnaws their way back. Higginbottom knocking down one from deep once again, making it 20 to 16. She had 10 at the break. Few ticks left. Sherry Porter, buzzer beater. And the Cajuns go into the half up 25 to 18. How about that buzzer beater, coach? I, I liked how uh, connected she was to, you know, notice that the time was running out and stuff like that. And that was a big shot for us. And Porter's shot came up big, but Lauren Pendleton's game tying shot in the fourth would be clutch. We head to overtime, knotted up at 46, where UL would get a steal. Blanton in transition, oh no. Porter, oh yeah. She had nine points coming off the bench, two point lead. Less than a minute to go in the contest. Cajuns up three. Pendleton kicks it to Lee Land. Augman, who makes it a one point game with 50 ticks to go. UL with a chance to try to extend their lead. Johnson to Porter, she can't hit it. Johnson nearly gets the rebound, but it's a state ball with a chance to win it with 20 seconds remaining. Red Wolves put it in the hand of Pendleton. Her shot off the mark, they get the offensive rebound and Tamara Johnson saves the day with the block as the Cajuns survive and hold on to beat Arkansas State 49 to 48. Despite turning it over 22 times, UL would find a way to close it out. Coach, you have the floor. I love to be up maybe by one or two. I, li I like it to be opposite instead of having the ball. I love to I love to try to make stops, and I just it's, to me it's fun. It's kind of what we do really well, you know. Um, you know, so I, I felt really good about it. You know, it was a it's kind of like a relief almost. You know, you waiting to see if it's gonna go in or not, or you're gonna see what happens. Like it's it was nerve wracking, but. It was a big play for her, and we were just all excited that, you know, we closed it out at the end. 